doesn't like free, right? Click on a challenge button and subscribe to my free 30 day real estate investing video challenge. Every day you'll get a video on how I built my business doing nearly a deal per day. It's two and a half hours of industrial strength training. Hey, Peter Bexelman. So today I wanna to talk to you from a perspective, what are you as a business owner supposed to do in your business? You know, I hope you really do consider yourself to be a business owner. You know, so many investors get in this business and they almost act like employees, like somebody else is in charge and they're always trying to do something, you know, that, that somebody else is having them do and they think the agenda is said by other people. Well, reality is, I don't care if you're a one person show or you do what we do here where I have, you know, employees in two different buildings on different floors, doing many different tasks you are a business owner now where where you are in this business sometimes changes what you do for instance when I got started in this business many years ago I did all the tasks that now my my people do for instance when I got started I used to negotiate deals myself guess what I don't negotiate deals in, anymore I have 10 plus full-time negotiators that work for me I used to go out there and look at my deals I haven't looked at the last couple thousand properties that I have bought but I have people that go out there whether it's a deal I'm buying here uh, in my market or whether it's a deal I'm buying across country we have individuals that look at these deals so your daily tasks change but one thing that I want to make sure that you understand is there's certain principles in this business that never change whether it's just you you and one other person or like I said a big operation like this but in my opinion you as a business owner need to constantly be focused on three aspects of the business number one you have to paint a vision Number two, you have to be diligent about watching your cash. And number three, it is your responsibility to bring the right people and, cult and, and, and cultivate those relationships to help you become part of your organization. So the vision, you know, so many investors out there I see, they're literally all over the place. And they're all over the place because they don't have a vision. Now, that doesn't mean the vision isn't changed. It doesn't mean the vision can't be adjusted. It doesn't mean that you don't make certain you know things along the way like certain starts stops sometimes little curves along the way but you as an individual you as the business owner have to have a vision for what your company is doing I will tell you one thing if you talk to people here they know our strength our big vision in this business is marketing we are extremely good about finding deals it is the core of what we do here almost everybody that works here one way or another is tied into that vision marketing 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 techniques strategies negotiations inspections finding deals finding deals finding deals and then I use that vision as a way to expand and grow my business in many different directions Number two, you absolutely have to watch your cash. It is amazing to me how many investors or how many business owners I meet, they have no idea where they stand financially. You know, I've talked to investors that are telling me they're gonna absolutely make money on the deal. And when the deal's done and you force them to go over the numbers, <clears throat> they've actually lost money on these deals why because everything's in their head you know they kind of ballpark well I spent five grand here and I spent two grand here and this and that and then it all just kind of conceptually adds up in your head but when you put it on paper you realize what you think where you think you're making money you actually may be losing money so you have to be diligent about knowing where all of your money is going to whom it's going how often it's going are you actually a profitable business owner are you not a profitable business owner you know it, it, it I've seen people put in an inordinate amount of time in his business spend an inordinate amount of money have inordinate money money coming back to them and guess what in the end they're at zero literally it's zero they probably would have been better off working at McDonald's for that year so your ability or inability to 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 watch cash is absolutely critical and number three it is your responsibility as a business owner it is my responsibility as a business owner to find to bring on and to cultivate incredible relationships with people that will help you propel your business in the right direction. I'll give you two examples that I've done here one internally here and somebody externally out of my company one 
basically my CEO, Julie. Julie, when Julie started with me right away, I realized, and she started a very basic call level, but I realized that she was a lot more than, a, uh, than just a caller. Again, the callers are critical to us, but I understood, I realized very quickly she brought a lot more things to the table. So I, I spent an inordinate amount of time with her in the beginning and do th to this day, even today after work, we have some meetings that we're doing together. When we go cr to different states and my other operations, she and I take those trips. I'm constantly, constantly cultivating and building a relationship with her. Not from a standpoint of every day teaching her, she knows this business inside out, but literally that relationship forming, that bonding, that letting her know that you know how important she is, it's, it's absolutely critical. I'll give you another example of somebody that doesn't even work for me here, but a guy named Pete Cook that works in a different, uh, that works with us in a, in a totally different state. Pete's an amazing individual, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm actually taking my time, my effort, going across country, spending time with Pete, talking to, to Pete constantly on the phone, strategizing, building out different scenarios, different, different plans. Again, understanding how important Pete is to the big picture of what we're doing is very, very critical and very important to me. So building and identifying and cultivating relationships is very important. So as a business owner, where's what you're focusing on? The vision of the company. Where are you going and is everybody on board? Number two, you gotta know your bottom line. You gotta know money coming in, you gotta know money going out. Simple as that. And number three, you gotta spend time finding and building relationships with the right individuals that become part of your vision to help you increase your cash flow. If you're not doing those three things as a business owner, you're pretty much in the job mode and I suggest you switch to business owner mode. Hey, you guys know what we do here. We do a ton of deals and, and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very, very successful real estate investors. So if you're a buyer or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in the Georgia market, specifically concentrated towards Atlanta, you need to be on our buyers list. By now you'll see my email scrolling across the screen. Send me an email, just say add me to the buyers list. And on a daily basis, you're gonna get some terrific both ROI and equity driven deals uh, emailed right directly to you. The other thing, if you're looking to become a successful investor, whether you're brand new, just getting started, or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger, more sophisticated, more savvy investor, I know I could help you do that. Again, you could either send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, or better yet, right below this video, there's a link, coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.